Hi friends, it's Saturday, April 11th, I think. Yes, Saturday, April 11th. We're on chapter seven. I'm hoping to finish the rest of the chapter book today so that next week we can start another book. Chapter seven, something very weird. Her trunk high in the air, morning breeze kept sniffing the hot wind. We'll get her away from here, Jack said to Annie. Then you and I can walk to the treehouse. Great, said Annie. Go, J Jack yelled at, again at the elephant. Go home, go home. He looked over his shoulder. He was afraid the great mogul might change his mind and send his guards after them. Morning breeze let out a long, deep rumble and flapped her ears, as if she'd finally heard a distant call or caught a special scent. Her rumbling cries grew louder and louder. She lumbered away from the drawbridge of the Red Fort. Jack was sure that the elephant would start down the street filled with horses and ox carts, but Morning Breeze headed up the other street, the one that went through the bazaar. No, no, go the other way, cried Jack. The elephant began to run. Her flat oval feet thumped against the road as she headed toward the tents and stalls of the bazaar. The street was crowded with merchants and shoppers, bearded men in colorful coats, and women in outfits that completely hid their faces and bodies. Watch out, everyone, Annie cried, as the elephant ran between the busy stalls. Everyone scrambled out of the way. Sorry, sorry, yelled Jack. Rogue elephant, a banana seller, shouted. Sorry, sorry, Jack kept shouting. Morning breeze knocked over wooden poles that supported white tents. The tents collapsed onto burlap bags filled with figs, rice, and peas. She knocked over baskets of lemons, oranges, and pineapples. Angry merchants yelled and shook their fist. She's from the wild, she can't help it, Annie cried. Sorry, sorry, Jack said. Morning breeze pulled down hanging silk shawls and carpets with her trunk. The silk merchant shouted with rage. He and the other sellers grabbed sticks and charged at the elephant. Jack and Annie scrunched down in their small straw carriage. Hurry, go, go, Jack called to Morning Breeze. With the merchants all chasing after her, Morning Breeze bolted from the bazaar. She started down a narrow pebbled road that soon became a dirt path. She left the bearded merchants shouting angrily in the dust. Morning Breeze kept running down the path, passing farms with small mud, ha mud huts. Sheep and goats bleated and scuttled out of, the, out of her way. Chickens clucked and scattered. Her bells jangled wildly. The elephant clomped past the woman and girls tending outdoors cooking tending outdoor cooking fires. She lumbered past men and the boys unloading hay from wooden carts. Hi, hi, excuse us, Annie yelled, waving. Jack tried to smile as he clung to the side of the swaying carriage. No one smiled or waved back. Everyone stared in shock as the elephant thundered by. Morning Breeze ran to the end of the dirt path, but she didn't stop there. She kept running, cutting her own path through a sun-scorched field. Jack felt as if they were riding a big gray ship on waves of tall yellow grass. This is fun, said Annie. Not really, thought Jack. Where in the world were they going? A million insects hummed and buzzed. Butterflies and dragonflies darted about. The elephant burst from the sea of grass and charged into a scrubby forest. As, the, as she plowed through sh shrubs and trees, birds caught and flapped out of the bush. Okay, slow down, morning breeze, yelled Jack. You're back in the wild, so you can let us off now. We need to... Before he could finish, the elephant lifted her trunk and let out a loud shriek. She reared up her hind legs. Jack and Annie tumbled out of the carriage. They slid down the elephant's back and fell onto the ground. Morning Breeze shrieked again and tore away, tore again and shrieked again and tore away through the forest. Jack and Annie lay in the dirt. They heard the elephant trampling plants and crashing through bushes. They heard her bells jangling. Then, then the sounds faded away. Are you okay? Annie asked. Yep, said Jack. But that wasn't very polite of her. Annie laughed. Well, you asked her to let us off, she said. Yeah, but not dump us off, said Jack. He waved away flies and slapped at mosquitoes. He felt sweaty and thirsty and exhausted. I wonder how long it'll take us to get back to the treehouse. I don't know. Let's just start retracing our steps, said Annie. Jack and Annie 
stood up and brushed the dirt off their coats. Hey, where's your bag, asked Danny. My bag, said Jack. Where was it? He whirled around. He saw it lying in the grass. There, he said. He hurried to the bag and picked it up. It was open. Oh, no. He reached in and pulled out the research book, the blue bottle, and Teddy and Catherine's note. He searched frantically for the emerald rose. I don't believe it. The emerald's missing, cried Jack. It must have slipped out when we fell off Morning Breeze, said Annie. We'll find it. It has to be here somewhere. Jack shoved something back into his bag. Then he and Annie got down on their hands and knees, looked intently at the forest underground, the dried vegetation, sticks, clumps of dirt, and rotten leaves. I can't believe this, said Jack. They have been so close to returning home, their mission done. Now that they were stuck in the middle of nowhere and the emerald rose was missing, I don't see it. It's not here. Maybe it fell out of the bazaar when, bingo, said Annie, there it is. Where, where, said Jack. There, Annie said, pointing. Jack saw it. The emerald rose gl glittered like a tiny green light in a small sunlit clearing. It was lying next to a mound of earth and de dead leaves. Yes, said Jack. He and Annie scrambled to their feet and headed for the mound. But when they got closer, Annie grabbed his arm. Wait, there's something weird happening. There, she whispered. Very weird. See? What? Where? said Jack. Annie pointed to the mound. Something very re weird was happening. The earth and leaves seemed to be moving. Then Jack saw speckled yellow bands and two shiny black eyes. Jack gasped. Oh no, he whispered. A king cobra.